Hey guys, it's Rod with Civil Advantage Firearms Training here. Uh, today on Ask Civil Advantage, we're going to talk about a condition called a slam fire, and in particular one that occurs with a very popular firearm in Canada called the SKS. So let me give you the, the history of this, the, the backstory. In the Canadian Firearm Safety course, if you took the course from me, just turn this video off because you're going to hear the same story I tell in each one of them. It's such a great firearm accident story that I, I'd like to share it with everybody because it, it provides... Uh, some good insight to what can happen. But I'm gonna run through the story super quick for you in case you guys haven't heard it. So, um, I was a firearms owner. I had a few firearms, not a lot of them. I wasn't an instructor yet, but I had started Civil Advantage. So I had kind of was on my way through this whole firearms adventure. I wasn't quite an instructor, but I was kind of getting there, right? So nice and cocky, basically. Didn't know what I didn't know. So anyway, I had bought a couple of SKSs and SKSs are good to have. Lots of them because they're inexpensive and for all the great reasons, you know, they, they shoot a big bullet, lots of fun, cheap ammo, on and on and on. It's semi-auto, it's great. Um, so I had bought, uh, the short version of the story is I bought two SKSs. One, um, when I went, the first one, I went to the store and they said, oh, well, here's your SKS, whatever. Uh, make sure you clean it really good before you shoot it. And I'm like, okay, well, that makes sense to me. I took it home and I cleaned it real good and I shot it reliably for years. So later, this was, you know, just before I became an instructor, um, well, a little bit before that, I had bought another SKS. And I go to the store, and I give me one of those SKSs, and they say, well, make sure that you clean it good before you shoot it. I'm like, oh, I already know everything about guns, so I know what I need to listen to you guys for. Of course I want to do that. I have these, you know, don't even bother talking to me. Um, so that SKS sat on the shelf. That was at the point where I wasn't an instructor, but I was kind of getting to that point. I'd already started the company, all the rest of that stuff. And so this SKS had been sitting on the shelf for about a year and never shot it because I already had one I was shooting. So my neighbor asked me, hey, um, can you take me shooting? I've never shot a real gun before. So of course I'm saying, yeah, you don't want to shoot with any clowns. You want to shoot with the pros, right? Because guys already know everything like me, of course, right? So um, off we go out to the bush, uh, out to the forest, and we're standing there. There's a little gravel pity area, and I gave him a little firearm safety course there. Keep your finger off the trigger. You know, look at me. I, you know, I've got all this down blah 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 and uh, so anyway we load the firearm and we've got our eyes and ears on I pull the bolt and this is a this is my new SKS never been fired before uh, but was clean and sitting on the shelf I let the bolt go like this boom the gun discharges I'm like holy crap you know I you know my eyes go like this his you know he's scared out of his mind he probably peed a little he was you know like oh my god what is this you know I'm like well, I don't know so the firearm discharges one of the I, I usually take a little break here and tell folks in the class like listen what was the one firearm safety rule that saved us from injury death property damage any of those terrible things that happen when you have a firearm accident or a negligent or truly accidental discharge muzzle direction my finger wasn't anywhere near the trigger safety's on nothing I, all the layers of safety broke down and your last line of defense is muzzle direction so nobody was hurt, no property was damaged, uh, just, you know, both of us are just freaking out, right? Boom, this thing goes off. I'm like, holy man. I unload, take a look in the gun, everything's fine. I reload, pull the bolt, let it go, boom, fires again. Well, um, that's half the story I tell in the course, but this is the relevant part for this, uh, this particular video. So what happened? Uh, it's a condition called a slam fire, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how that works. So in an SKS, what you have here is the bolt. And when you look at the bolt, if there was a firing pin, this one doesn't have a firing pin in it, but if there's a firing pin in it, it's a little bit longer than the bolt itself. And what happens is when the, uh, when the, when the bolt goes forward, it strips around out of the magazine, it pushes it into the chamber, this little claw here, as you guys know, is called the extractor, right? The extractor grabs onto the back of the cartridge, and this thing slams into the cartridge, extractor engages, and the firing pin bounces off the primer of the cartridge that's in the chamber, and it sticks out the back of the, the bolt here, and it's sticking out like that. So the, the, the firing pin actually contacts the primer, but because there's no resistance in there, it just comes and it's sitting out here exposed. When I pull the trigger, there's a hammer in there, basically, and it hits the firing pin on the back side, it jars forward, strikes a primer. Now what happens is when these come from Russia or wherever, typically Russia with this stuff, this whole thing is dunked in this 
hot vat of cosmoline. And cosmoline is this terrible, waxy, greasy, horrific stuff. You know, I say in the class, if there's a hell, it's like an ocean of cosmoline. And you fall in there and you never get the stuff off you. It's just horrible, this stuff. Uh, but anyway, they dunk it in there so that it preserves the firearm and it lasts forever. You know, oddly enough, here we are, you know, 60 years later buying these rifles and they're still in great condition because of the cosmoline. Um, so what happens is that cosmoline gets caught. It all melts and it goes in this little channel with the firing pin. And so now because it's, you know, these are big, you know, uh, um, arsenal factories, right? The Tula Arsenal, big weapons factories, it's, you know, lots of steel fabrication and all kinds of stuff. It's dirty in there. So now you have cosmoline in the channel where the firing pin is and you have dirt and grime and God knows what else. And now the, the pin doesn't move freely. So you can see where this is going right now. When I drop the bolt, I pull the, I pull the charging handle back, I let it go. The bolt carrier slams this bolt into the cartridge. The firing pin was sticking out a little bit. And there was enough resistance, it was stuck enough that it actually ignited the cartridge. It's called a slam fire. So did the guys at the gun store, either time, they were two different stores, say, listen, buddy, make sure you clean it, make sure you take the bolt, pour boiling water over this bolt in the sink, and make sure all the grease is melted out of there. Make sure all the cosmoline has gone because you can have a slam fire. I guess that was a little bit too much for them to tell me. I guess it took too much effort. But anyway, I learned the hard way. So that's what a slam fire is in an SKS. So when you get this thing, uh, there's a variety of different ways you can clean them, a variety of different ways you can get this, get the cosmoline off. Um, you know, if I'm gonna turn this into a, a video about cosmoline, get a bunch of old socks or an old towel and just really try to get the majority of it off out of here. You can also pour warm, not quite boiling, but pretty, pretty, pretty warm water through the action. That's what I would do. Um, if you want to use boiling water, that's fine. Just don't get boiling water on the, on the actual wood part uh, because the lacquer will get melted off. Ask me how I know that. Um, <laughs> I make more mistakes than anybody. I just try not to make them twice. Some, some I do twice. Uh, but what's most important is pour boiling water over the steel, steel parts, all the, uh, the bolt carrier, the bolt. That's really important. So anyway, hopefully this helps. Hopefully this prevents you from having a slam fire. And when you get a brand new SKS, remember you have to take those steps to make sure that um, uh, you don't uh, have that situation occur. And remember, your last line of defense is controlling the muzzle direction. A lot of people don't think about firearm malfunctions. They think, well, if my finger's not on the trigger, then I'm all, I'm all good. Well, sometimes guns will fire when you don't pull the trigger, right? When you just close the action. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully that avoids any uh, catastrophes in the future. If you want, you can see us on the web at www.civiladvantage.com. Thanks and take care.